Welcome back, and if this is your first time watching, my name is Brandon, and I sell men's clothing on eBay. This is day 21 of the What Sold series, where I show you my daily eBay sales. Let's not waste any time, let's jump right into those sales. So today definitely wasn't my best sales day, I only sold 12 items, but all of the items except one sold in under 30 days. So I'm pretty proud of that, I do like to focus on sell through, and make sure that I'm selling my items quickly, so this is great to have all but one item sell in less than 30 days. So let's go ahead and jump into the first sale here, it's a Stussy sweater, I thought this was super sick, uh, the print on it's sweet, it's like a cardigan type sweater, it sold in 9 days for a best offer of $34 plus shipping. Sale number two is a Zero Restrictions Golf Fest. It was embroidered with Barclays on the front of it. And uh, Phil Mickelson, he's a professional golfer, very famous. And he always wears, I think he's sponsored by Barclays. So I put his name in the title uh, just to help it sell a little faster. Uh, I'm not sure if that helped or not, but it did sell in one day for a best offer of $39 uh, plus shipping. And this was new with tax. Sale number two was a pair of Wrangler Riggs workwear pants. They were also new with tags. They sold in 22 days for a best offer of $27 plus shipping. Sale number four was the only sale that didn't sell in under a month. It took eight months to sell and it was this Link Soul. Uh, this is normally a golf brand, but this is just a t-shirt by them. It did have a bunch of discoloring on it, like, uh, like bleaching discoloring, that reddish color. Uh, anyways, it sold in eight months for six dollars plus shipping. Sale number five was a Vineyard Vines vest. It sold in one day for full price, nineteen dollars plus shipping. Uh, the next two sales were actually bought by the same buyer, and they uh, they actually messaged me and told me that they bought both of them. I can go ahead and ship them together. I was like, thanks, I will go ahead and refund you the extra shipping. And they said, don't worry about it, you can keep it. Uh, I don't mind paying for both the shippings. So I just, uh, I think I said it back in my last video too, just how eBay has the best buyers. Anyways, this is a uh, vintage anti-smoking t-shirt. I think it's from some movie. I'm not exactly sure what movie it is. Anyways, it sold in three days for full price, $10 plus shipping. This next shirt is super sweet. It's a vintage uh, Ford Shelby Cobra uh, t-shirt and it sold in three days for full price, $30 plus shipping. It did have some discoloration and stains on it and it still sold for that price. Sell number eight was a Johnny O golf polo shirt. It sold in 23 days for a best offer of $17 plus shipping. Sale number nine, this is actually my first time selling this brand. Uh, it's Freeline Athens and it was a linen shirt. I think they might only make linen shirts. I'm not exactly sure about that though. Uh, anyways, it sold in five days for full price, $30 plus shipping. I did price this on the lower end of the comps because it's my first time selling the brand. I'm not very familiar. Even though I could see the comps, see how quick it sells through, see the prices that they go through. Uh, usually when it's my first time selling a brand and it's not something like super crazy valuable, then I'm okay with taking a little bit less uh, just to kind of get my feet wet in the brand and and <clears throat> start to understand it a little bit more. And uh, like I always say, I like to move things quickly if possible anyways. Sale number 10 was a Wrangler Pearl Snap. It was just a solid white one. Somehow it didn't have any stains or spots on it. And it took 11 days to sell for $15 plus shipping. It was a size small. If not, I think I could have gotten the 20 to $25 range. Sale number 11 was a standard James Per Se shirt. It sold in four days for a best offer of $20 plus shipping. This brand seems a little bit hit or miss for me, but I think as long as you price it on the low end, then it's it can still sell uh, plenty quickly. Sale number 12 and my final sale of the day was a Rock Mount Ranch Wear Western shirt. It sold in three days for a best offer of $15 plus shipping. It did have multiple flaws on it. That's why I let it go so quickly at such a low price. Normally I like to sell these in like the $30 to $50 range. That's it for the sales, so let's go ahead and jump into those numbers. All right, let's run through these sales numbers real quick. It's about 9 p.m. and I still need to list my 20 items today. Uh, I am drinking a coffee though, so we should be good. Anyways, on September 21st, 
I sold 12 items for a total of $352.17, giving us an average sale price of $29.35. The selling costs uh, populated here are never right. It's actually $108.87. The breakdown for that is $42.72 in eBay final value fees, $59.04 in eBay uh, shipping labels, and $7.11 for promoted listing fees. Four of my items sold via promoted listings. I promote all my items at 5%. So if we subtract that from the gross sales amount, that'll give us this net sales number of $227.81. We still need to take away our cost of goods, which is $126.60. That's an average of $10.55 per item. And if we remove that, then that gives us an actual net profit of $101.21. Below average day, but still better than nothing, so I'll take it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for day 22 of the What Sold series. Peace.